Hello everyone, in this video, this is the second video in the series uh, Microsoft uh, 365 uh, uh, project. In this project, so in the first video we created, uh, we created our uh, Office 365 uh, or Microsoft 365 E5 subscription uh, uh, as a new user. And uh, now what we are going to do, we are going to create our uh, local data center. So local server from which we are going to move uh, sync uh, 500 users to Office 365. Now in order to do that, uh, what do we need to do? So, so first of all, so this was the architecture that we discussed in the previous video. In this video, uh, in the previous video, we said that we are going to download VMware Workstation. Uh, so here I said 15, but uh, latest is 16. We can download the 16 evaluation version. I'm going to show you how to download that version number one on your laptop in Windows 10, Windows 8, or even if it is a server. And once we download this, then we will install VMware Workstation. After that, we will create a VM inside. Uh, we will create a VM inside VMware Workstation. And then we'll install OS. So the two uh, the two software that you need for this lab is number one VMware Workstation, secondly Windows Server 2016 evaluation versions. And I will uh, provide both of the links within the video description. So uh, so here what we need to do this is uh, so whatever operating system you have. So you can go to uh, you can open your browser. So here I've opened my browser which is Firefox. You can even open that in in uh, Internet Explorer as well or maybe Chrome all you need to type is uh, you need to uh, basically uh, type here uh, uh, you can type here download uh, you can type here this word you can look for this word download uh, VMware Workstation 15 evaluation version. So once you just look for download VMware Workstation, it will take you to this link or this link. But the problem with these links are uh, that this, if you if you go to this link uh, when you're downloading, it will want you to create VMware. It will want you to create an account on VMware. I mean, there is no harm in creating an account in VMware. When you go here, from here, you can select uh, go to download as soon as you go here this is the product that you need to download but when you download it will ask you to either log into VMware website or create a new account you can create a new account if you can create a new account that will be fine if not then you can go to this other link so this other link is just a v workstation pro evaluation version and this is a direct link uh, this is a direct link to uh, basically this software this is a direct link to software without uh, logging in or creating a new account so I'm going to share that link as well uh, so uh, let me copy that uh, so I've already copied that link so you need to go here once you go to this link you can download you can download this either by going to this link or you can create a link in VMware workstation and then do it so here once it you need to save this information so it is downloading it will take a little bit of time um, but less than five ten minutes here uh, probably even faster depending on uh, depending on how fast your internet so probably this will take few minutes so so while it is taking some time, uh, in the in the meantime, what we look for, we look for Server 2016 evaluation version. So we can go to download Server 2016 evaluation version ISO. We are looking for this ISO, and in here we can go to the trial version. I can open another one. Just make sure the site is Microsoft and you're not going to any other websites because uh, we are going to Microsoft website because with other website you will they will definitely there, there might be some uh, things that are automatically downloaded we want we just want to download this uh, this from the Microsoft website so here you can select Microsoft server 2016 here we need an ISO and here continue here it will ask you to just enter this information uh, this information is basically not creating an account but it is just uh, getting that information so here you can type in 360 IT services uh, probably one user uh, title is let's say any title so I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with IT technical manager uh, work email address so it does need work email address let me see if I can use my uh, my email address that we just created 
uh, remember in the previous video so I'm just gonna go with this email address here uh, probably it will send a link to this email address and the number uh, let's say I'm just gonna go with any random number and the uh, region that I am in is Australia I mean I have all this information so I'm just uh, providing this information because I just need that evaluation version and uh, so probably uh, we are going to install uh, download this uh, software so uh, so here it is saying that which language do you want to download from so I'm just gonna download okay very good so you just need to provide that information after that it will provide link to the it will provide you the link uh, for for the download so I'm gonna save this file as well so now both of the files are being downloaded and you need to go like this so just uh, and it is an evaluation version so it doesn't matter if you provide the right information or not uh, it's just an evaluation version um, now once you download if I go to the download uh, here the VMware file is being downloaded and ISO is also being downloaded once you have both downloaded first we'll install VMware workstation then we'll install uh, then we will install the uh, operating system create a VM so VMware workstation software is downloaded whereas the operating system uh, server 2016 is being downloaded so you can just go here and download this software uh, so for that I will be providing both of the links uh, within the within the video description uh, the link to Microsoft server and also the link to VMware workstation now once VMware workstation is downloaded what we can do we can go to the download folder wherever you download my download is right here uh, I can go to Windows download as well probably it is downloaded right here yes so here is the software VMware workstation and you can just double click on that software it will start the installation it's a straightforward installation and you can just go next 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 and it will it, uh, complete the installation once once VMware workstation installation is completed uh, then we are ready to create a VM so in my case I'm not going to install this fully because I already have one version running uh, which is uh, VMware workstation 15 uh, you can complete this installation uh, you can complete this installation and once this is done it will be available in your downloads uh, so uh, once it is available in your download you can start uh, you can start the uh, installation so uh, in this video we have uh, we have downloaded both of the software in the next video I'm going to show you how to create a new virtual machine in uh, in VMware workstation so I will wait for this to complete and once this is all completed uh, in the next video I'm going to show you so uh, I'm going to show you how to create a new virtual machine within VMware workstation so all you need to do in this video uh, based on this video download uh, ISO for server 2016 also download VMware workstation then install VMware workstation it's a straightforward install just like this and next 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 and you can uh, install uh, VMware workstation once that is installed in the next video uh, I will show you how to create the VMs thank you for watching this video